the combo of Sisson at the half marathon distance in Houston is as sure a thing as you can get in the sport of road running right now. I mean, you say she lost. Yeah, Ram is a very good runner. Only 24 seconds back from her. That's a legit performance. I think what we're seeing from Emily Sisson, she had the shorter stuff down for a while. Remember? Five and ten. She could make U.S. teams. She could run fast times. And then she'd go up to the half, and she'd run really well in the half. But she didn't have that amazing marathon performance on the other side of it. Remember, drop, ran well in London, but then dropped out of the Olympic trials. But now, she's got that 218. She's got that American record in the marathon distance. So now, she's excelling on both sides, and then she meets at this middle distance. It's no wonder um, she has absolutely crushed this race. I wasn't surprised at all. If I'm putting in my bet now for next year, she's going to break the American record again in Houston. She's just locked in when she gets on this course. Yeah, she went out pretty quick, too. She went she out fast, yes. yes. Went out 15.31, um, trying to figure out what her 5K splits were across the board. And then 15.48, mm -hmm. and then a 16.01. Yeah. And then I'm not sure what the last one is. I can't do that math. But clearly, <laughs> she went out harder, slowed it down a bit. Mm -hmm. She was, you know, five minute pace and then ended around, averaged around 507 for across the 13 miles. But it is kind of wild, too. Like, it's, she was in her, she was not with that. She's like in a field of her own, right? It's not yeah. like there was a massive group to like go off of. Like, after 5K, she was, you know, just her and Jessica Warner Judd mm -hmm. were together. And then eventually, it wasn't until about 15K. When she started to pull away from her, mm -hmm. uh, but it was a lot of solo running, you know. Yeah. So, big ups to her to be able to have that focus on the record. You know, she sometimes it's hard when you're when you know you're not going to win and you're like you're just chasing time. She already has the American record. Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, you put a, it's like it's kind of like self imposed pressure. And she yeah. was able to handle it pretty well. And a sub sixty seven is. Yeah, Goucher had run sub 67, but it was on a record eligible course. What is Sisson's best finish at a major? Well, we'd been to Chicago. I mean, she's only, that, that was her second major. She's only done two, I guess. And then she ran the trials. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm, I'm I guess that's, that's, that, that, that's what we, we always were, were waiting for the big marathon to happen. And it always got delayed because she, you know, she'd run the five and the ten, or like she didn't make the team and and all that stuff. But yeah, I think she's only run three, yeah, three marathons. She's second ever. in Chicago, yeah. And then she didn't do twenty one, twenty. Twenty twenty would have been trials, trials where she, she, she dropped out, dropped out, and then twenty nineteen was London. It was fast. London, but, she got sixth. Yeah, I mean, it was fast at that time, like the two twenty. You're like, oh, two twenty three in, in your debut. But the second at Chicago. That's a little bit of a fool's gold second, right? Because wasn't it just a very heavy American race? Last year? Uh, two years ago it was. You're talking about October 2022. 2022 Chicago Marathon. Well, the thing is, Ruth, che Ruth Chep and Gettich won it and almost broke the dang world record. Yeah. So it's hard to say, oh, yeah, this, this race was light. Like, there's a world where she actually wins that race with a 218. I know everybody's run 217s now. Yeah. But. Like, because Emily has based, obviously shown that she has the talent. She's going to be everyone's lock for top three spot yeah. at the trials. Yeah. But then, when do we know, when, is, when will Emily Sisson become the athlete that you think that, hey, she could medal at the Olympics? Right, right. Well, I think she can now because Molly Seidel medaled at the Olympics. Like, I think she's, has the, she's in range now and ethiopia's gonna only send three kenya's only gonna send three she can work her way in there what, what i would want to see would be her in a championship style race again right yeah. a, a race that would mimic an, an olympic race yeah you know succeeding in something like a boston or a new york because chicago is different you're right so last year chicago she runs 218 20 gets second by four minutes to chep and get it two, 214 18 and then third was Vivian Kipp, who got 220.52. So there was two minutes on one side of her and four minutes on the other side yeah. of her. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't the deepest field, but you ran 218. You lost to a woman who ran 214. Yeah. Like, you get, get the American record. That's a successful day. And she just keeps on churning out successful days. But yeah, well, well, I think the next step forward would be 
going to New York or Boston yeah. and doing it there. But it is interesting, though, that, like, she has these multiple American records, right? Even, like, Kira D'Amato has some has an American record at, mom- at moments. But then yeah, it's, Mo- yeah. it's Molly Seidel who has the medal. The medal. Yeah. Right. So necess- just because you have all these fast times and these really good performances doesn't all re- always translate to metal performances. Right. So that's why we're like, yeah, she's the best. But right. when will she give us the like? She's the, the easiest, metal type. Yeah. She's the easiest to see getting in the mix right now. Yes. But that does she, not. Mean she's your number one sure. draft pick. Yeah. And, and of course, she keeps giving you more reasons why yeah. she should be the number one draft pick but and she's also getting closer and closer time wise to that gap right now that all could change because someone could, the 214 could move down to 213 this year or 212 no it really could right yeah like that that record could drop down and then other people could follow but as of right now all right she's at 218 the fastest people are at 214 now she's dropping her half marathon if she could get down to, to 217 on his on a super fast course then you're shrinking the PR gap. And then the only other thing you need to have happen is, okay, the net championship race comes in, the PR becomes even res- less relevant, and then that golf isn't really that big of a deal, right? Because it's getting harder and harder to see someone with a 223, 225 PB get a medal in, in a world where it's 214, 215, 216, 217 yeah. every single race. It's still going to happen. It still has happened. But the faster it gets at that front end, the more you obviously need to go right in those championship settings. 